Valentine's Day is just a week away. Yes, it is. And if you want to avoid an awkward situation, listen up. That's right. Mr. Manners himself, Thomas Farley, is here to help you navigate the proper etiquette. Thomas, hello to you. Good, Good morning, to see you, Thomas. Uh -huh. You know, uh, let's, uh, political season has been a little rough on relationships. If you're involved with someone new, how long do you wait before you ask that person their political leanings? And if it goes against yours, is it a deal breaker? For a lot of people, it will be a deal breaker. And so for that reason, I think you get it out of the way immediately. Why waste time? Why wait to the fifth date to realize this is someone that you're going to be completely incompatible with? Mm -hmm. So I'd, I'd get it out there, get it over with. <laughs> I'm look looking at, at Maria. <laughs> 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 Do not look at me. Look at your own ghosting Gary right there. <laughs> Let's move on. Okay. Get less uncomfortable. Uh -huh. Let's talk about some different personality types as they relate to relationships and romance. Let's start with a guy we're going to call... Ghosting Gary, okay, you know his M.O. You do. He starts to lose interest in a relationship. Instead of having a frank conversation, he just disappears. What's the etiquette? So ghosting Gary really needs to be courageous Charlie. So it's easy to ghost. It's, you know, if you're at a party, ghost away. But for a love affair, not a cocktail affair, you want to take the high road. You want to put it out there right away. This is not working out for me. Uh, otherwise, you're going to leave the other person waiting, wondering, and that's not. But a, if it's a couple of days, nice. if it's a couple of days, is it okay to ghost to say, you know? I I wouldn't leave the person in the oh. lurch because the person's going to be thinking, you know, okay. is he in the Never hospital? Okay. What happened? Something Where is he? I did. It's, They're going to think it's you know, yeah. it could just be it just wasn't a love match. That's right. right. They'll, they'll be second guessing every move. It might have been political. Uh -huh. Okay, here's <laughs> Weepy Wilma. I was assigned Weepy Wilma. I don't know why I was assigned Weepy Wilma. Yes. She's someone who doesn't have a date for Valentine's Day. And how do you, if you're her, which I'm not. <laughs> How do you like not spoil everybody else's day? Yes, none of these are typecasting, yes, by the I way. Let's put that out there right it. away. Yeah. Uh, so I think the, the key with Weepy Wilma is for her to stay off Facebook both on Valentine's Day and the day after. So this okay. is this is gonna be very difficult for her to be watching all of her friends out there yeah. on their dates. So stay stay away from social media if she can. Put together a Galentine's Day so she gets together with her girlfriends. Um, and also acknowledge the it's important cute. people in your cute. life who I are not dates. Did you? Yeah. Yes. That I did that. You had a Galentine's Day? Well, yeah, my daughter is dead and I kind of crashed in <laughs> on it. It it's was... a night out in the town for all the girls. They can have fun. They can have a blast. All right. Yeah. Okay. Um, I am uh, lavish Lana. So I'm the one. I've been out on a couple of dates, and I'm buying really expensive gifts for my guy. It's, I'm going, like, way, way, way over the top. What, what, what's the etiquette for someone like her? Isn't what's it, her problem? What's wrong with her? <laughs> yeah. Are so you is, her? Yeah, right. <laughs> I might be. On, oh, in some boy. instances, I might be. Oh. I might okay, go a little so over. listen up. Yeah. The, the tricky thing there is you are setting the expectations so high for that yeah. other person. First of all, you're setting yourself up for disappointment because you will most likely not get a gift that that's, that's as expensive as what you're giving. Yeah. But you're also, for the person accepting it, they're, they're setting a standard that should not be set. So the person receiving the gift needs to put it out there. This is so generous, Lana, but I simply can't accept it. I appreciate it. Oh, you don't I accept it. You, oh. you need to, you need to wow. be good about it because accepting it is going to set that bar at a place wow. you can't follow up with. All right. Which leads us to Flattered Franco. You know this guy? He's got a good friend, a woman. She is crazy about him. She just lavishes him with praise and compliments because she's interested in relationship. He now has to make a decision to tell her or not tell her he's not. How That's does he right. deal with that? Oh. That's right. So again, he's putting it out there right away. He's flattered. He's grateful. However, the interest is not mutual. He's got to be very careful about anything he does over the next couple of days and weeks so that he doesn't give her the wrong idea. Because no she's mixed signals. Be, right. No mixed signals. She's going to be misinterpreting every little thing he does. And if possible, it may be uh, necessary for them to take a friendship break for a little while until she finds someone else. I think he should yeah. ghost her in that situation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We all kind of like the ghost of yeah, we're just we're we're not we're not ag etiquette kidding. experts, yeah. apparently. Uh -huh. Thomas, always good Thanks, to have Thomas. you. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.